A one-two weather punch hits Rio Doso as devastating wildfires rage without containment for a fourth straight day. And thousands of people still can't go back to their homes after they were ordered to evacuate two days ago. But relief is arriving, and today, President Biden declared the area a disaster, freeing up a variety of federal aid. Good evening, I'm John Purvis. For the second day in a row, Rain provided some relief to firefighters who were dealing with a 35-square-mile area that's on fire. But that rain also creates new challenges for them and a new warning to Rio Doso residents to stay away due to possible flooding and mudslides. It adds another um, dimension to it because we have to be sure that, you know, we've got people on either side of the bridges in our town so that if if we lose any of the bridges. Riodoso Village spokesperson Kerry Gladden says they saw two and a half inches of rain in an hour and a half yesterday. And although the rain kept the fires from growing, they remained 0% contained today. The National Weather Service has issued a catastrophic um, flood warning. Gladden says the rain has forced fire crews to pull away from the northwestern area of Rio Doso to avoid flooding. And as Rio Doso remains a ghost town, she says she has no clue when people may be allowed to return to their homes or even to see if they're still there. CBS 4 at Tins Eileen Herrera is in another mountain community, Capitan, about 20 miles from Rio Doso, where evacuees can only wait and wonder when they'll be able to go home. Around 200 families are seeking shelter in Capitan, New Mexico. And an official update today, officials saying there is 0% containment on both active fires with no word yet on when evacuations will be lifted. The more people that come in, it strains our resources as well as the resources that are really not operational. We are doing everything we can to protect the evacuated areas. Officials from Lincoln County and firefighting operations giving an update today on what the conditions are on the active wildfires. Experts say although fires are not contained, they don't expect them to grow a lot over the next few days. The weather conditions that we see over the next three to four days, we expect very little growth. Meanwhile, the Red Cross housing those who will not be allowed to go back into Ridoso until further notice. The uncertainty of not knowing if you can go back home or if your home is still going to be there. So that's why we want to provide that safety and that sheltering. The shelter in Capitan, New Mexico provides residents a place to sleep, food, clothes and phone and internet service. We're going to be here for as long as it takes to make sure that families have what they need. Susan Francis was forced to leave her home due to the fires and has been sheltering in Capitan since Monday. Francis tells me not knowing whether there'll be a town to go back to or not scares her. It's just, uh, it's just so many unknowns and that's been very frustrating. She says her house is still standing, but her neighbors have lost everything. Francis says she knows Rodoso will rebuild. It always comes together during tragedy, mm -hmm. but it's ne we've never had anything like this before. Again, there is no word yet on when evacuations will be lifted, but officials did say they're working to get internet service and phone service back up and running to help with communications. I'm reporting in Captain New Mexico tonight, Eileen Herrera, CBS 4 at 10. The American Red Cross has set up a reunification hotline to help those looking for lost loved ones. If you're one of them, call this number, 800-733-2767. We've also added a link on your screen where you can make monetary donations to the Community Foundation of Lincoln County. After the village of Rio Doso said they're now overwhelmed with direct donations of food, toiletries, and other items. You can also find these links at cbs4local.com. 